Hey guys, this is Candace from CreateFreedomWithCandace.com. I simplify marketing strategy to help entrepreneurs to gain confidence and start taking the right action to build a profitable business through online marketing. In this video, I'm actually gonna show you how you can actually automate some of your business through online and also start generating somewhere between 10 to 20 leads per day using Twitter. Now, if you have used Twitter before, you know Twitter is a very fast-paced social media. And in order for you to actually start seeing results, you have to be um, consistently posting on Twitter. Of course, I definitely do not want you to sit in front of a computer and post or on your phone post on Twitter all the time. And this is why today I'm going to actually show you how to use a tool to actually automate that process. Before we get started, I want you to know that if you're serious about building a successful business through online, there is a link on the top of the description below that actually have a 15 day business builder challenge that's free that I highly recommend if you're serious about building your business online. Also, the tool that I'm about to share with you the, if you want to check out the tool, the links is in the comment, it's in the description. The tool that I'm going to actually share with you called a social oom. Social oom is actually a, free, uh, a tool that actually approved by Twitter and other social media platform. I'm, I'm going to kind of quickly go over this with, with you, what you can do, okay? So social oom, um, there's different feature here. If you go with the free version, right? If you go with the free version, if you were only building on your Twitter, free version could actually do most of the work, okay? I go with the, I, I did the, uh, um, the Twitter unlimited because I just, want with the, uh, I just want to work with Twitter. Now the professional level, you pretty much get everything. You could also do Facebook and Pinterest and LinkedIn and other social media platform as well, all right? So, now, if I scroll down, let me show you this. There is a seven day free to start. If you want to start it, you know, start this free, that's fine. Again, the link is in the comment if you want to get to it and get the seven day free start. Now, if you want to get the professional, um, the professional social room, which is including for the free, uh, Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and other platform, it is uh, $17.97. But if you do the yearly plan, it's actually come down to somewhere between like that. They have this special promotion. If you do the year uh, yearly plan, I believe is it can end up to like twelve dollars, a little bit over twelve dollars for every two weeks. Okay, that payments every two weeks. Okay, now that's a professional. Now, if you only want to use for your Twitter, you could actually only go with the Twitter Twitter Unlimited. I'm actually right now, I am only use social room for Twitter. So I go with the 697, but I did the yearly plan and I pay 180, a little bit of 180 with a change for whole year of plan, which could do a lot. All right. So there, these, this is the different plan that you could choose from. Again, you could start with the seven day free so that you can see how you like it. I'm actually going to log in and actually show you. So when you click on here, sign up, and you could actually pick whatever uh, plan you want, right? And I'm going to go ahead and log in and show you exactly how this works. Now, if you're new to Social Oom, the first thing that you wanted to do, it will pop up, is to actually connect your social account. So you see the Twitter, Facebook, Insta, blog, and everything right here. You could actually connect to it. You could actually... All, if, if you do Twitter, all you do is just click on authorize access and it will take you to your Twitter and ask you to, to authorize the app and that's all you need to do. Mine's already connected, so I don't need to do anything. And that's it. That's how easy it is to hook up to your Twitter, to any of your account, okay? Now, once it's hooked up, right? Now, what, do you, what can you do? One of the things that you could do with the, um, the biggest thing that I like about Social Oom is that I could actually load tons of content in there and it will recycle and will post it on its own. I'm just gonna, again, I, there's a lot more to it, but I want to show you a quick tutorial on exactly what you can do with it, okay? First thing first, there are a few different, um, a few different names that I want to um, 
actually familiar with it. There's something called a queue. A queue is actually like a category, okay? Each queue is a category. So let's say if you have a queue for your image quotes, and you could have a queue for your, uh, if you do blog, you could have a queue for your blog. If you have a queue for uh, a video, maybe if you do YouTube, so you could do a queue for YouTube video, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show you how to create a queue and then how you create a, a, a tweet, okay? An, an update, update is actually, each update is one um, tweet, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, when you wanted to post, first of all, uh, you, when you want to post, you want to go to a queue, you want to create a category, all right? I have actually, I'm gonna show you exactly what I have. I just, um, for this account, I have actually created a queue, which is my image quote, my image quote queue, and this is a category, it's the category of for image quote, right? And then I have uploaded a lot of updates. Each, uh, each update is your tweet. So I have all of these have already loaded and it will, it will keep posting automatically to my uh, Twitter. So let's go. I'm gonna show you how you create a queue. So let's do a queue. Now you could do different queue. So you click on create new queue. And today, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to create a block, okay? A block queue, so I'm gonna do block um, queue, okay, block. And I wanna publish an update once every how many minutes? Now, here's the deal. Um, each, in Twitter, they do not want you to have repeated queue, all right, repeated tweet within the 24 hours, whether you have one account, two account, you are not allowed to repeat that. So you kind of sort of have to do a little bit calculation on it. So let's say if you have 20 blog posts, right? And you don't want to have, uh, have it repeat every 24 hours, then you want to kind of calculate how often should you do it. Um, let's say if I have, um, let's say if I have 20, I have 20 blog posts, and there's, 20, there's 24 hours, right? We're talking about 24 hours. And there are 60 minutes, minutes per hour. So I'm kind of doing a little math, right? So there's 24 hours and, and 60 minutes per hour. That gives me a total of 1,440 minutes. And then I divide it by 20. That gives me about 72 minutes. What that means is that the... the um, the lowest, the lowest minutes that I could have is 72 minutes to uh, repeat the, that post again. So I kind of want to, you know, that's the lowest minute. So maybe I will create somewhere like 93 minutes. Now you don't want to do like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and you know, 40, uh, 40 minutes or 30 minutes. You kind of want to do a random number so that it could be a little bit like, you know, not, not, that so people see it, they don't see it as, you know, you set a time, so, you know, so uh, you kind of want, want to take, pick, just pick some random number, okay? So we want to publish every 90 minutes for each post, okay? And you don't, definitely do not want to have them to email you every time there's an update, then you are clock up all your, your, your email account, okay? Now, if you have multiple accounts, like I have multiple accounts, you just want to select which account that's a go-to. So I'm going to just do the Candace Bui Twitter, and I'm going to actually, because I have two accounts, I know I'm going to create another one for my other account. So I want to go to my blog there. I'm going to put in the, the username so that it could, it, it helps me remember which account, okay? Now, the next thing here, recycle update. When a new update is added to queue, automatically market recycling back into the end of the queue. You definitely want to do that because that is why that it's, it helps you, you know, every time they post it and then when they run through the whole 20 posts and then we'll go back to the cycle again, all right? Because you want to recycle. That's the whole point, okay? Uh, we don't care about the long update, all right? So we're going to leave it like that. Now, you could publish, you could choose to public on each day. So let's say if you have a webinar that runs every, every Wednesday, right? You wanna promote every Wednesday's webinar, then you could actually make a poll that just promote the Wednesday webinar on Monday, Tuesday, 
until Wednesday, four o'clock, then you could actually select those days. But normal posts, most of the time, all of the posts that you have, you want to be running every single day. All you need to do is click, click the top one and press the shift button and go down to the, the last one and select off. Now, when the time, if you're online, right, and you're, you're aiming for people with the, from everywhere, different time zone, you would want to select all of it. The same thing, click the top one and scroll all the way to the bottom one and press shift and click and you select them all, okay? Uh, you, could you could choose a, a seasonal window. So let's say if you want to promote something seasonal, like Christmas time, if you have a special Christmas, um, Christmas promotion, you could actually set it the time for seasonal and you could set the starting time. Right now, we're gonna pause the queue because we don't have anything to run yet. So we want to pause the queues. Once you have putting all of the update, which is the tweet in there, then you could unpause it, okay? So right now we're just gonna be pause it until then. And after that, all of these, you could just leave like that and then we're just gonna save. So now you have created a queue. So you see the queue, the queue has been saved, okay? So that's what's called a queue. A queue is a category. All right, so let's, you know, the same thing if you want to create another one. So we had the, I did the, the image quote, now I did the blog. I could actually do the YouTube video or whatever, whatever you have, right? So now that we have a queue, so let's try, let's, uh, let me just show you how to post a tweet so that you can recycle, okay? So now that you did, you did a category, remember an update, it's a tweet. So we're going to go create a new update, all right? We go to a new update. You could, you have the selection of go to new tweet, uh, new text, new image and text, new blog post, whichever one you want, okay? If you want to do a new blog post, right? Uh, uh, this is what I want to show, show you. The blog post, you could actually connect to the blog post, but you have to go to professional level. I only have the Twitter unlimited, so I didn't do that. But I could still share my blog post. So what I'm going to do, now between the new text and new update, I would say, Try to have your, your tweet with image whenever it's possible because uh, the tweet that with image will get more impression, more, um, you get more impression and all of that with image rather than a plain text. So we're gonna click on new image and text. Uh, look, I can, I can show you how you do everything. Um, pretty much when you do update, doesn't matter which, whether it's image quote, whether it is, um, blog, where there's a YouTube, pretty much the same. But I want to show you the blog post because there's something here that I want to show you, okay? So image, we're going to pick an image. I have an image that already uh, ready to go for me. And I'm going to grab that image because this is the one that from, so from, from the image. And uh, it is this blog post that I did, three invisible law to be uh, building a personal brand. So you kind of want to write a little bit, uh, a little bit something about this, okay? So, um, okay, so I'm just gonna copy this, all right? Now make sure your text does not go over 200, okay? When it comes to building, uh, uh, one of the essential elements, some struggle if you're in person then Click, all right. I'm gonna share the blog link. Click here to, to learn how. And then I will grab this link, all right. I will grab this link to the right blog. Now, this link is very long, yes? What I like about Twitter is that I could click on shorten link, and now the link is short and simple. And then I would just put some hashtag in there, all right. Definitely want to have some hashtag um, in your in your post, right? All right, so that's it. Now, we definitely do not want to post yet, so don't schedule because right now we just want to add the image and the text to the Q reservoir, okay? Because that's exactly what we do, all right? Now, select the account that you want. Remember, I have two different accounts. If you have just one account, that's fine, so it's like, this, see if I have, if I click here, this queue, I have two queue. I have the image quote and I have the blog. So we want the blog, right? And we want to, when published, 
put the image and text back to the reservoir at the end of the queue. We so we do that, and then you just leave it like that, and you cl click on save, okay? And that's it. That is how you update. So let's take a look at it. So we're gonna go to, um, we are going to this account. We are going to. Uh, Look at the queue. We want to look at the block and we apply the filter and voila, here is the one that we just created. And if we, if we unpause this queue and it will start running and it will start running um, and recycling the, the, the uh, post, okay? So it's just like this image quote, reservoir right here. If I have it start running, you will see it's actually start running on it. So right now I have a pause, but you will definitely be able to see it running, okay? So that is the simple, uh, how, you could, how you could use um, Social Oom. It's a very, very powerful, very powerful uh, tool that could help you save a lot, a lot of uh, time. So again, you could, you could use the free version with the free version, you could use it for the for, for Twitter. You will not be able to create queue. The queue reservoir would not be available for you. Um, you could you could only uh, create update, meaning you could create your, your tweet, but that's it. You you cannot create different category. If you go with the professional version, you could actually do a quite a bit. If you are only concerned right now, I'm only concerned about Twitter and I want to use the Twitter and this is wh what I go for. With the professional one, you get to l link up to your blog, you could get link up to your Facebook, your Pinterest, your LinkedIn and everything. All right, so that is it. Um, that is a simple tutorial on how to use Social Oom. Again, the link is in the comment if you want to actually pick up for the seven days to actually try it out. Again, Twitter is such a such a powerful um, platform. If you if you want to generate leads on Twitter, uh, which I have been able to do, use use um, Twitter to generate uh, ten to fifteen, even twenty leads per day, and getting a lot of subscribers to my YouTube uh, channel. If that's what you want to do, um, Social Oom could really help you save tons of time with me putting all of this stuff into my queue and then I start running it, I really don't need to go in every single day to actually post. Um, with all this, all the stuff that I have put in, in place, it has enough content for to run the next six months. And every time I create new content, all I need to do is just go to the update and add the new content in there and it takes about two, uh, about a minute or two minutes to, to do that, all right? and you want to learn more about how to use Twitter to generate more leads. I do have a free training in the comment there for you to, to learn from one of the top leaders um, where I learn all of my Twitter tricks from. Um, definitely take a look at that free training. With that being said, guys, this is Candace from createfreedomwithcandace.com. You like this video, give me, give me a thumbs up, share this video, and also drop in a comment, let me know um, how, how's working out with you with the uh, Twitter. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm actually going to share a lot more of this video with you guys on how you can simplify a lot of different marketing strategy and, and platform so that you could start building a profitable business through online marketing. All right, guys, bye. See you next time.